Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another NBA 2K15 micro game. After the craziness that was game one of the playoffs, which included James Harden from nearly half court tying the game at the buzzer, and then us winning on a last second block, which Dwight was credited for, but I, I said I got a hand in that as well. I had a good piece of that. And now here we are in game two. It's still a seven game series, so after all that hype, we got to calm down and play this game. And of course, Tony Parker's not here. Tony Parker is injured, and he's not only out for the rest of the series, he's out for the rest of the playoffs easily. The dude has a torn MCL, I believe it was. So, no Tony Parker. So, I mean, we got a legit shot at this series, man. Tim Duncan is still gone. You see, I got knocked down by that splitter screen there, so I had no shot at guarding that. So, two of the Spurs' big three is gone right now, but they still have Ginobili. And, of course, Kawhi, who got the Finals MVP last season, he's in as well. So, you know, the Spurs won't be an easy out by no means. Besides the fact that it's a Hall of Fame, as Denny Tice gets the transition three to go there. We're off to a slow start, but we just came out firing late in this first quarter. You see Patty Mills finding a wide-open Ginobili. And, of course, Ginobili struggled badly in Game 1, but... Game two, he brought his A game. Knowing that Tony Parker is gone, he stepped it up. You see there, that was just hard for four space. And I don't know why Trevor Reza ran to the same spot Terrence Jones was at. Considering I was getting double teamed there, but um you know, that's just 2K logic because we get the perfect release to go. We got a perfect release on our first ever playoff shot in game one. And at least we got another one after that. You know, usually you don't get those perfect releases too often. It's Trevor Reza gets that three point to go. And that's what I need, man. Trevor Reza can actually space the floor properly. Instead of giving up layups and the other end off of my passes, I can get a Reza to knock down threes. As Reza's open again, but can't hit back to back. And that's one thing, man. You can never get a teammate to really hit um, back to back three pointers. It's a struggle for some reason. Like, it's some sort of weird thing in 2K this year where. People just don't, don't knock down open shots that often, man. I know in 2K12 I played, even 2K13, your teammates were pretty good at knocking down shots, but the past two years, I feel like they don't really, you know, hit too many open shots, which is kind of frustrating and makes you have to score more, even though the teammates are open, but, you know, I'm willing to take that task as we find an open Nick Johnson, but in this game, you know, our teammates were doing all right. You see the rookie, fellow rookie knocking that down as Denny Tice fading away and getting that one to go there. It looked kind of like that fading shot I took in the, the end of regulation in game one. But this time it went down. You see Ginobili. That's just too easy, man. Of course, Manu didn't have a good game last game, but he is being guarded by James Harden. So he has a high chance of going off here. As right now, they're running the anybody and Harden offense right now. Whoever is being guarded by Harden, they're going straight after. I like go after Patty Mills there and draw the foul there. Going to the free throw line. I think I only knocked down one free throw, though, unfortunately. Though we do have 13 points early on in this game. We find a cutting Ariza there. Getting that bucket to go. And, um... And that's the thing about the Ariza. Sometimes he makes some really nice cuts to the basket. So that's good to have his Denny Tice thunks that one. I saw Bonner in the paint. I could have passed him. Like, you know what? I could take Bonner one on one the paint. And if I can't, then I need to assess my game. So we got a seven point lead on the road against the Spurs. Like I said, I didn't have much expectations of, you know, competing in the series. Now we might get game two on the road all of a sudden. And it's legit, man. This is legit. Our team is starting to quick a little bit. I'm starting to find my offense. I'm finding James Harden, who's fading at the end of the shot clock, getting that to go back to a seven-point lead. I'm doing what I can to guard Patty, which isn't the hardest thing in the world. But right now, it's Manu that's going off. Manu is right now the heart and soul of this team. He's keeping a minute. Manu ended the shot clock, pulling up the jumper over Terrence Jones, getting it to go. And he's single-handedly willing this team back right now. Manu again for a third position attack. The rim, pump faking, taking the contact. You can't even blame Harden on that one. This is just the Manu Ginobili show right now. As the Spurs have cut to a one point lead, we find a wide open Trevor Ariza trying to you know hold off this Spurs run, but we cannot. We're gonna have to call a timeout soon because Manu is on fire, pulling up at the end of the shot clock, but can't get it to go there. Oh man, a Manu. That whole roof would have fell down in this place by his fans screaming. Amano would knock that down, but now Boris Diaz going to the line after that foul. And the freaking goaltending, apparently. What the hell? They got the lead off of that, and now it's just falling apart. Kind of the same thing that happened in game one. We were, you know, actually in the lead, I think, coming out of halftime. And then the Spurs just started clicking. The one thing that changed the momentum in that game was Tony Parker not being here. And that's what's keeping it close, Tony Parker not being here. Though Kawhi Leonard is here, and Kawhi Leonard is draining damn near everything he touches, along with Ginobili. So, right now, I mentioned those two, and those two are basically the team as we kick it out to, I believe, Nick Johnson again. Second three of the game. Nick Johnson having an impact on this game. With the one thing he can't have an impact on, with his shooting as... Once again, these are just such easy buckets. These are frustrating to watch, man. Because, I mean, I don't want to worry about Parker so much anymore. But it's these other guys I have to worry about. So I get the offensive rebound, the put back over splitter, getting it to go in. 
you know, trying to do everything we can to hold out this run the Spurs are on right now. We just got to wait until those guys go on the bench and see what we could do as Patty Mills, you see. Patty Mills isn't the hardest guy to guard, so I don't got my hands full. It's James Harden hidden something there. Instead, he finds an open Tice for three. Can't get to go. It's a C-minus shot. It looked a lot more open than that. Maybe I got the release wrong, something like that. These jump shots in this game are so inconsistent. It's so frustrating, man. This whole shot timing thing. I don't know, it's just me. I got the Tony Parker jumper right now. Ironically, I use his jumper. Trying to get it to work, but I don't know, man. This 2K stuff is just so inconsistent as I try to take a shot and I actually get it to go there. Wild attempt there. It's a six-point game now in the fourth quarter. The Spurs, I think, extended the lead by like two or four after I hit the bench. Pat or Patrick Beverly there. Can't knock down that three. You see, this dude putting all the pump fakes on eventually just driving straight by me. So that's my bad there. It's my turn to give up on layup, but... Hey, I haven't really done too badly on the defensive end. It's just these guys. It's, you see Patrick Beverly. This time, he can't knock down the jump shot, so he goes to the rim. So I'm thankful for that as Boris D out takes it all the way to the cup. Can't get to go. Bonner on the rebound. Flips it up and in, and we can't allow those offensive rebounds. Like I said, those easy opportunities. We need to prevent if we want to have a shot and... Ginobili just needs to miss a shot, man. I, I'm not going to say what we need to do because there's nothing we really can do. Ginobili just needs to straight up miss, man. He only missed that one shot at the end of the shot clock, that one three. Spinning three as a reason. This is a big three that could have cut the lead at three points as Ginobili almost took the shot. Instead, gives it to Diaw, who gets blocked. We're glad Ginobili wasn't the guy. And right now, Tice might be the guy pulling up. And Denny Tice coming up big in the fourth quarter. Another big three in the fourth quarter for Tice. 26 on the game. Nearing maybe another triple double. And we're getting the steal here. Here with a chance to take the or tie the game up on his possession. A bounce pass to Terrence Jones doesn't go down. I really want a reason to pull up that shot. And I realize that Trevor Reza is a horrible player in transition, man. And you see there, I meant to take that all the way to the rim. I had Patty Mills. I was gonna take him all the way to the cup, but they made me take a jump shot. And since I wasn't ready to take a jump shot, it was like a F jump shot or something like that. So you know, those two possessions. They killed us, man, but it's still a three-point game as you see Kawhi Leonard finding Patty Mills and Patty Mills not missing that three-pointer. Patty's making me... I, I, I don't leave him open often, but whenever I do, he just seems to be killing me as I find an open James Harden needing this three, and James Harden delivering again. Let's see if some more Harden heroics could save us in this one, because we need some right now. As Splitter in the paint, not getting it to go. The dude is like a foot short in him. He's able to play the defense there, and now a chance to get the tie. Trevor Reza, I gave it to him. He didn't want it. I wanted it, but I couldn't get it. Probably can't kick out the Harden there, but once again, I saw Patty Mills. I mean, I thought I had the shot there. Just couldn't finish. And now Kawhi and Leonard from downtown. And that one hurts with a minute 15 left. Kawhi holding up the threes there. And we're going to need an answer right back. And I find Trevor Ariza. And Ariza not able to come through. My teammates were doing pretty good early on. But in this fourth quarter, we are ice cold. And Manu is scorching high. He got that shot to go. And at that point, GG, man. There's not much you can do. As I find James Harden open here, minute 11. This is our last shot and or our last hope. But Harden makes that shot. And that's pretty much the dagger right there. Sent in by Harden as Dwight Howard tries to go for the charge. Typical to Hall of Fame defense there. And we're going to end up coming out the L here. And man, man, I thought, you know, this series was so wide open, but we can't put our heads too low right now. It was a close game. They just got away in the fourth quarter. We didn't knock down our jumpers. I myself didn't come through at the end. And Ginobili, which is hot. So hopefully in Game 3, things change when we go home. So we guys, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more 2K15, my career, this crazy playoff series. And I will catch you guys next time.